Well, if you think it's cold in Canada, consider this. Temperatures in outer space can dip to minus 270 degrees Celsius. But that didn't stop thousands from applying for a chance to live and work in that hostile environment. Tonight, we have the short list of candidates who made the cut to be Canada's next astronaut. CTV's John Benavalli Rao reports. Made to look like a scene from Mars. In reality, this is the side of a Hawaiian volcano, where in 2015, volunteers pretended they were living on the red planet. They simulated what an actual manned mission would be like, studying how people could coexist in a small space for eight months and heading up the team. This is kind of our airlock area at the moment. It's Waterloo's Martha Lenio, who is now shortlisted to become a real-life Canadian astronaut. For me, I think this is like an ideal job. The Canadian Space Agency put out the call last summer. Five turns on H2. Announcing it plans to hire a pair of astronauts. Hi, I'm David Saint-Jacques. And I'm Jeremy Hansen. To join a team that includes the country's astronauts. current duo. It was my childhood dream. Toronto's Zen Mariani is a research scientist with Environment Canada. He's been to the Arctic several times and experienced extreme conditions. He's among the roughly 4,000 who applied and now on a short list of 72. I couldn't be happier. I think it's a great honor. Uh, and now I've, I have to just try my hardest to stay in it. On the left-hand side. Also making the cut, Sarah Spangalo of Winnipeg, who has a PhD in aerospace engineering and currently works in California. Um, I've always loved the idea of exploring and adventure and pushing the next frontier. Among the candidates, plenty of test pilots and doctors, and about a third are women. The winner will train for the next few years and will likely go to space in the mid-2020s. Olathe McIntyre studied, among other things, space science. She works at a planetarium and science centre in Sudbury, and she's also on the short list. It really does feel like a, an achievement already, just to be here, just to be a candidate. Meanwhile, the finalists will be chosen this summer and move to Houston in August to start training for an out-of-this-world adventure. John Vinavelli Rao, CTV News, Toronto.